friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be building this cute modern starter home. I never build modern homes. I thought I'd switch it up, you know, we're branching out. We're branching out today and I wanted to challenge myself with building a starter home because I do have a little mini gameplay challenge video series coming your way soon and so I want to build us a home for that. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and get started. We are building this in San Sequoia. So we're over here, we're on this lot, Manzanita Terrace. You can see in the bottom we've got 21,000 simoleons. We're holding it down with that. We're gonna we're gonna make it happen. One thing I've always liked to do, and I don't know why, I just think it's like really fun, is finding homes on like Pinterest and finding ones that have like an actual floor plan. And I think it's fun to actually just like build out the floor plan as it shows you in the images. So that's what I'm gonna do with this house right here. I think it's super cute. So we have got a little front porch moment, but mostly the house is like a square. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna do the interior walls first. So this room on the right is like a square. So I'm gonna just make it a square like this. And then there's kind of like a foyer moment going on over here. And then this room is also a square, but it's like smaller. So I'm gonna make this like a smaller square. And then the bathroom is like here. And then we've got like living room and kitchen in the back. And then this like meets up with the wall like this, but it has this like, it has like that. Like there's like a little, little bit going in here. There is a basement in this plan. I'm gonna put the basement in, but because we only have limited funds, I'm gonna like not, it's gonna be an unfinished basement and there's gonna be just like nothing down there. So I'm just gonna put the room for the basement here and then I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. And then for the foyer, I'm gonna just put a wall like that and then we'll put like an archway maybe. So there's like a line of sight. We do have a front porch as well, but it only is on like part of the house because it like only goes on like this part. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then also let's raise everything up because it's pretty, it's a pretty tall house. She's got some height, you know what I mean? Okay, let's get the front porch going here. So we need stairs and then the door will be here and then we've got porch stuff. I am going to do the thing where I like delete the <laughs> the back of the stairs so I can get some money back because why was that like 300 simoleons? I don't know. Like for what? I think we just maybe should put the roof on first to get that moving and grooving. So we need one that's going like this way. It's so tall. I don't know why it does this. Like what? Whose roof is this tall? You know what I mean? <laughs> like why would it? Why would I do it like that? It doesn't make any sense. And then we're going to put it like that. Okay, and then we want another one going this way. You know that modern look. And again, the roof is like 8,000 times too tall for some reason. Right here is perfect, thank you. Okay, now we need pillars. I'm gonna do my darndest to only use the base game and growing together stuff, but we're gonna see. There may be a couple things here and there that I just sneak in. But there are some, like I know for a fact that there is a spandrel I'm going to use. I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna use this season's spandrel. I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry, but why is there no other spandrel that's just like a solid piece of wood? You know what I mean? Cause like this one has these fancy things. I don't want that. I'm making a modern home. Hello. Anyways, <laughs> rant over. I'm gonna use these ones. Okay, and then we're gonna have to make some of these taller <laughs> than others. It's gonna have to go up to like here. I'm gonna have to pull the roof out one more, I think. Yeah, like that. And then let's put like a roof pattern on. I'm gonna go for this like corrugated, like sheet metal looking roof. Cause I feel like modern houses, like they always have them. They always do. And then we're gonna do like a dark border. And then I'm gonna put this on here, like a little collar. For wall paint, I'm thinking maybe we go for like the grown together stone that matches the these and then we'll put it up like that. And then the rest of the walls, I wanna use this one. I feel like that looks pretty good together. Although it doesn't really match the, the posts, you know? I mean, we could do lighter beams on here, but does that like hit the same? Like, is that what we want? These do match a whole lot better. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. It's like a little brighter. For front door, there's like a modern one from Growing Together that I think would look pretty good. This one, this this one right here. I think we do it in all black. Is this gonna be like too much if we do the same stone again? I don't think so. I think I'm into it. I think it's all being tied together. Maybe we do like this staircase instead. I feel like it matches a tiny bit better. And then I'm gonna put a railing on the stairs. 
Here's where things get complicated for me because I really, really would like to use this one from the new pack for rent because look at this. Look at this railing, y'all. It's so good. I just, I'm gonna use it. I'm sorry. I apologize thoroughly. But like, first of all, they match each other. <laughs> it's also just like the perfect railing for like a modern like home. I don't know. So I'm just gonna use it. I'm sorry. And then for windows, oh my god, I'm going, I'm I'm going way off base here because the thing is, I'm gonna have to use the eco lifestyle windows because they one look modern and two, they're so cheap. And this is a budget home. Look, I only have 15,000 simoleons left already, you guys. I need to use cheap windows, please. Let me have this one, okay? I can make like a double, like a little two-paned window look so modern and fun. I'm sorry. Let me match it over here with this one. There are no more windows in these rooms. There is a window in the bathroom. I'm gonna put this one in here because it's like the bathroom, you know? Sink is gonna be here, so I think we put this like that. There's also windows on either side of this. And then there's a back door. Since we're using Ego Lifestyle, I'm probably just gonna go for it with the back door as well, cause it's like the perfect, you know, shape and size. I could do the taller one actually, cause we have like double height walls here. There's a, there's a window into our scary staircase room as well. I gotta build the basement too. I guess I'll just do that real quick. Like this? Is this the right size? I don't know. And then if we get a staircase here, is that in the right spot? Oh, perfect. We've done it. I don't really know what's going on with the basement yet, so I'm just gonna ignore it. It's gonna just be there. <laughs> there is a staircase down there. We can go down and there will be nothing. I do enjoy how light and bright this house is. It's got an ocean view. I mean, it's a good location. For 20,000 simoleons, you kidding me? That's a steal right here. Okay, so interior now. We need like floors and like doors. <laughs> Let's start with doors, shall we? I'm going with the cheapest door. The thing is like, I know this is supposed to be a, a fancy like modern home, but it's also like, I gotta make it budget friendly, right? So we've gotta be careful. Okay, there's our doors. I'm actually gonna give us lights as well because these are the things I always forget. And if I don't do it now, I'm going to not remember. <laughs> let's do, let's get our essentials in for like the kitchen because that's gonna be important. I'm gonna go with the Blandco counters. I know, I know they're not the most like nice looking, but they're gonna have to do for, for our needs right now. Uh, I want the big tall boy because I want to put this one like here, like on the ground. And then we can put these in. I need like a corner piece. Okay, and then we just need a fridge and a sink and a stove. I'm gonna do black because I feel like these appliances are like not the cutest, but if you just make them dark, they look a little more like modern, I guess, I don't know. It bothers me a little that the windows are different heights, but I'm gonna ignore that. And I hope that you can ignore that as well. <laughs> Cute, cute, cute. Let's get our smoke alarm before we burn the house down. Where are we at? We got 10,000 simoleons left. Let's do bathroom stuff because that's going to be expensive as well. I think I'm going to splurge just for the sake of it looking like modern. Like this one's not bad, but I think I'm going to splurge and give us this nicer shower bath thing because it's just nice, you know, it's just nice to have. And then we'll put the same counters in here again. I might do them a different color. Yeah, maybe we do this one. I don't hate this one. It's not terrible. And then we just need like sinks in here too. I'm going with the cheap sinks in here. I'm gonna still do the black ones though, cause they guess, like I said, that if you just make them darker, it just looks a little bit better, you know? What's like a cheap, like, just like a cheap mirror? <laughs> this is 150 and it's like big and nice looking. Maybe we splurge. We just give it a little, little splurge moment. Should I change the color of this? Do we like the gold? I feel like the gold is not in any other area. <laughs> How about this? That kind of mat, that kind of ties it all in, you know? We like that. Okay, we do need like an archway for the entry. I'm gonna go with like the wide one. And then now you've got a little divided 
foyer and then into here. Okay, we still have 6,000, almost 7,000 simoleons, so I'm feeling pretty good. For this family, we have, you can see them actually out here, a little sneak peek, a single dad and an infant. So we need rooms for them. So this is gonna be the dad's bedroom and then this is gonna be the baby's bedroom. And then this is gonna be our living room. So let's get like the basic furniture we need. Let's start with the baby's room. I'm gonna do this crib. In my opinion, it's the cutest crib. And I'm gonna do this matching changing table. I'm actually gonna scooch them like so it kind of lines up with the wall a little bit better. There we go. Maybe the door should face outward because I feel like you walk in straight into the baby changing table. <laughs> Ooh, let's get this rug. What other colors do we have? I like the little mountains. I think I want to stick with that. Yeah, this is cute. And we'll kind of theme the room like purple, orange, and pink. That'll be her little color scheme. Adorable. I want those little baby books. Where are they? Is it like not in here? Is it in this? Okay, I don't know. We gonna, we're gonna gonna want this play mat as well. This little thing. I'm gonna put it in the living room though. Oh, here it is. Like literally right in front of me. All right, we'll put that here. I'm gonna put a rocking chair right here. Also, I'm gonna tell you now, the curtains are way too expensive and I simply will not be getting any. So I know it's kind of like weird that you can see so easily into the baby's room from like the street. <laughs> But um, you know what? We're gonna get curtains later. Right now, there's no privacy. And the good news is there's no robbers in The Sims 4, so don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? No one's breaking in. Are the rocking chairs in here? Where are where are the rocking chairs? There, here it is, the vibe check rocker. That right there, cute. And you know what? It's already the, the perfect color, in my opinion. What else does the baby need? Maybe like some toys? We'll give her some blocks. And then let's get her like this little rattle. Maybe put these in like a nicer spot. <laughs> I don't know. I will put flooring in soon. <laughs> It'll be cuter once there's flooring. We may not be able to afford any like paintings for now. It might be bland, but there will be functional like furniture and that's really the main thing. <laughs> that's really all that matters. Okay, let's get the dad a bed, shall we? He will be getting the used double futon. Sorry about that, my man. Okay, what's like the cheapest table that there is? How about this one? It like doesn't super match. Okay, that looks better. <laughs> and then let's get him a dresser. I kind of like this eco lifestyle one. Maybe a different color, maybe the darker. Okay, we'll hold it there for now. We'll see, those are the essentials. <laughs> we'll see later if we can afford anything else for dad. And then living room, we're going with the, you know this couches, you know them, you love them, it's these ones. And they're gonna go like this. And we'll put the baby thing like over here. We can get a, a TV stand perhaps. Like what about that? That's, that's pretty good. And then we just get like this little teeny tiny baby TV on top of it. What color for the couches? This one has like texture. I kind of like that. I kind of like that color. And then we just need another cheap <laughs> end table. We can just do this one. Keeping it simple, end tables. <laughs> I think no coffee table for right now because we have the baby thing. And I feel like that's kind of taking up our coffee table space. Let's get a little table for right here. I'm thinking maybe a round table. This one is modern looking. We'll do like the brown and black. And then we need some chairs. These are cute. I'm into these. Okay, we have 2,000 simoleons left. We need rug for the living room. We need obviously flooring <laughs> and wallpaper. And then I also want to put on a back deck, but I think that should be free. But we also need stairs for it. Maybe let's do that real quick. <laughs> put it to like here and then we'll put stairs. What if we just use the same stairs again? <laughs> And then again, we delete the back. Oh, okay, it deleted my window. <laughs> that was random. Okay, and then yeah, we're gonna want the same fence probably. Okay, we're still looking good. We still have 1700. I think that's probably plenty for flooring and wallpaper. Hopefully. I'm thinking we do just like concrete tiles like this. Cause we are, I mean, it's a modern home, right? They love a good concrete floor in a modern home. Same thing in the bathroom and then same deal in here. I am gonna put carpet in the bedrooms cause I always do. I like it. I like having warm toes. I actually, in my actual bedroom, I don't have carpet. But in my Sims builds, I always put carpet. So I don't know, maybe that's a sign. Maybe I should put carpet in my bedroom. Sounds expensive. Okay, honestly, this like dark purple color is kind of it for the baby's room. That kind of ties it all together, I think. And then I think for everywhere else, we're just gonna go white. Like I said, like this is a modern, <laughs> she's a modern home. She doesn't need 
anything except white walls. And I think instead of spending a bunch of money on a rug, I'm gonna put this in as the rug <laughs> for the living room. Okay, are we missing anything? I feel like we're looking pretty good here now. I want to put like some kind of dresser moment in here. Just like some shelves, maybe. Maybe we can do these. Okay, this one's 90, but I think we can still afford that. And maybe we put like these little cubbies on top. And we can put some of the baby clutter in here. Like important things for your baby. This stack of diapers. <laughs> the baby care clutter. We could put this adorable little basket in the living room as like decoration. Maybe let's put it over here. Oh, maybe we should get like a runner rug up the middle here. Let's do this one. Cute, love it. Okay. Oh, I forgot a trash can for the kitchen. Let's get that really quick. Every time, I swear. This one is cute and it's cheap, so I'm gonna get it. I'll put it right here. We can probably afford an outside trash can even. I don't know why the outside trash cans are like so expensive though. Maybe we just do this like kind of weird looking metal one. We'll just like tuck it around the corner here real quick. You know what we can do? We can put a single light in our basement. That's exciting. Oh, look how much money we just got back because I deleted the wall on the staircase. Amazing. Now we have so much more money, 865. We might be able to afford a fence now, y'all. We might be able, well, maybe not. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what we can do. Okay, I sold the wall art because I wanted a fence. And is that so wrong of me, really? I'm actually gonna move it because I feel like I don't love it joined up to the house like that. Okay, we have a hundred simoleons to spare, so I'm feeling pretty good. I am now gonna landscape and I will be just using debug landscaping because it's free, so. Okay, I've gathered all of the debug landscaping pieces that I want. Unfortunately for you, I am doing this when the game is set in the spring. So everything's like dead. So that is unfortunate. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it is what it is. It's fine. I may not use all of this, but if you've ever done landscaping with the debug items, then you know that you cannot copy and paste items when you're using debug. So you have to just like select each one out of the thing every single time. So I just gathered up a bunch and I'm just gonna put them where I want them <laughs> kind of thing. I'm also gonna use some terrain paint to make like a path up to the front and stuff because that is also free. So you'll love that. But first I think we just need to like move some stuff out of here. So I grabbed a couple palm trees. I'm gonna put one tree like in the backyard, I think. And maybe another one like out here. There's palm trees all around, so I kind of want to stick with the palm tree thing <laughs> for now. And I might put this one back here. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of scooch these over for a second because I need some room. I think we want to keep like the square open and just be grass. And then the this I'm gonna put like all the way out to here and then kind of just like fill it in just to right here. So it's like that, I guess. <laughs> I feel like this would be a driveway if this were an actual house, but it's not. <laughs> so it's just gonna be like this weird stone area. And that's okay. We love it anyway. Okay, I think we want these up in the front here. Here, scooch these, move these over. I think we want these like here. It is gonna do that fun thing where it tries to lift everything in the air. So ignore that. And then I think we want like some flowers in front of it or maybe sort of in it. I'm just gonna kind of do what I normally do and like place everything around because I can't honestly really tell what they look like because it's like winter. So we're just gonna hope for the best. And then when it's like summer in my game, we're gonna find out whether we succeeded or not. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be fun. They're like, gonna be little planter beds. And then we just kind of fill them in with these every time. And that's not changing today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See, like you can really just build up your little garden and you just kind of put stuff wherever and you just kind of hope for the best. Okay, what else we got? Is that everything? Oh no, we got these too. And we got these purple ones. And like maybe this palm tree is like there, you know? We have, actually have one more flower to put somewhere. I'm gonna put it right here. I might see about putting like debug rocks to give us like a little walkway.
Okay, please never ask me to do that again. I actually hated that so much. The result is nice, but it's like so tedious. Like that actually took me like a solid 10 minutes. Okay, I need to move our mailbox over here. And also maybe we should get a different mailbox because I feel like that one just like was not the vibe but this one very much is. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then I think we need some terrain paint like under our little planters here, just to give it some life, you know? Cause there wouldn't just be grass under them, you know what I mean? You know, I'm kind of excited to see what this is gonna look like when it's not like the winter. It'll be, it'll be interesting, it certainly will. Maybe I'll just switch the season real quick just to see, you know what I mean? Like maybe we'll just, maybe we'll just find out real quick <laughs> what it will look like because I think it's gonna look good, but I don't know what like my colors are on all my plants because they're all just like dead right now. Okay, I made it summer. <laughs> And hey, look at this, it's looking so much nicer now. Nothing is dead anymore, how exciting. We've got color, we've got greenery, it's looking excellent and I'm feeling pretty good. So this is our starter home. So I think we should name this, we'll name it Modern Starter Home. Let's just go ahead and save it real quick. We got, let's see, two beds, one bath. Wow, and it actually took like relatively nice screenshots. How exciting, this never happens. Love that, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and upload this to the gallery for y'all. If you wanna download it, my name is Queen Shark Games on the gallery. Obviously there is debug items in this, so make sure you turn on sheets before you download it. I will be playing with it very soon when I start my new little gameplay challenge here very shortly. So I will see you guys in that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, all those fun things, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.